What's up, guys? Helen here, 24 here, back with another episode of Pokemon Black. Um, about that fossil that we got. Uh, I'm actually going to show you what you do with that fossil, uh, right now. So, um, we're just going to head over to Nimbasa City on our new bike. It shouldn't take too long. I'm hoping. Although, we do have to go through Castalia City. I don't know, it should be fine. Um, yeah, so I'll just, uh, meet you guys over there, and I'll tell you what to do next. Okay, so, it didn't take too, too long, um, it was about a two-minute trip, two and a half minutes. Anyway, so what we want to do, is we want to head over to the museum, actually, and meet up with, uh, uh, Lenora's husband. Um, or not. Hold up. Ah, okay, here we go. Okay, guys. Uh, we are actually... This is the plume fossil. The fossil he gave me turned into a Pokemon. This is Arkin. Please take good care of it. We received the Pokemon Arkin. Uh, Arkin's a, really, a pretty good Pokemon. Uh, I'm going to nickname him. Uh, Alright, I'm going to call him uh, Blink. I don't know. It just seems somewhat fitting. I don't know. If you guys can think of a better name, you could just tell me. I, I, I'm just at a loss. What I should name him. Uh, okay. So, this is our third team member. At last, we are finally having a third team member, Blink. Uh, the Arkham. Lonely nature. Oh, uh, pretty good. Alright, that's a good nature, because, um... Uh, Arkin, basically, he's supposed to be a fast attacker, and uh, his ability to defeat is lower stats when HP becomes half or less. I think it halves his attack when his HP becomes half or less, but the point is that you're supposed to have him so fast that you can't, that the opponent can't, he just keeps dying before they can damage you. Uh, Pluck, okay, Ancient Power, Agility, and Quick Guard, um, okay. Uh, that's not too bad. The only real damage, uh, physical damaging move is Pluck. Uh, I'm going to actually, I think I have a TM for it. Okay, I'm going to teach him, I think I'm going to teach him Dig instead of Quick Art. Uh, Quick Guard, I don't find incredibly useful since he's not supposed to be damaging. I mean, uh, be a tank, he's meant to damage. So, I'm, uh, for some type coverage or, uh, it's really high physical damage. It's gonna be pretty good. Um, okay then. Uh, let's go all the way back. To uh, Na Nimbasa City. This is what I uh, actually, I'm gonna go fight those Relic Castle guys that I skipped out on, um, and try to get uh, Blink some levels. What am I name? Okay, just someone, someone give him a better name, please, please. Anyways, I will see you guys back at Nimbasa City. Okay, finally back. Um. None of my Pokemon got a level. Blink is somewhat close to getting a level, but still no level. I'm mad about that, to be honest. Okay, uh, let me just show you around uh, Nimbus Battle Subway. Uh, it's basically a place where you battle a whole bunch of trainers and get battle points to get specific items. Um, wait. Test your trainer skills. Ooh, what's this place? I will judge your battles. What? What? Oh. After him stuff. Right. Yeah, that's that. Um. In here. I'm pretty sure there's a thing.
There's something here for us on future. Yeah, yeah, alright, this is the sunstone. Um, it evolves in Pokemon. Uh, like, yeah, Connie. And, um, Lily. Into Lily again. Uh, Connie into. I'm not sure actually. Um, and I tend not to use those Pokemon anyway. Uh, and then you want to talk to this guy. He gives you HMO for strength. It, it's a uh, physical normal type move that has 80 power. It's pretty strong. Um, but yeah, since it's an HM move, you probably won't want it. Uh, then you want to talk to this old lady. Who gives you the Soothe Bell. Uh, what the Soothe Bell does is Pokemon become more friendly to you. I think I'm going to actually give that to Arkin. Um, yeah. Thank you. Okay then. Uh, I need a Sunstone. I'm just going to not. you dumb. Anyways, um, so now that we're done with that stuff, uh, I don't think there's much, too much else we can do. Um, uh, no, actually, I know of one thing we can do, which is actually what we have to do for the story mode. Uh, Oh no, okay, this is Pokemon. To continue our adventure, way what should be said. Um, so what we want to do is we want to head here. Right here. You're looking for Team Plasma, right? They ran into the amusement park. Come with me. Right here. Let's try the Ferris wheel and see if we can spot them. I love the Ferris wheels. The circular motion, the mechanics, they're like collections of elegant formulas. Um... What? What? Word? What? First I must tell you, I'm the king of Team Plasma. Um... I don't feel safe. Please let me- Can't decide for me to work with him to save the Pokemon. Can I get off of this? Someone? So, someone get me up. Get me up. I don't want to be here. I wonder how many Pokemon exist in this world. Stop cutting me off. I want to leave. I don't feel safe. I need an adult. My little man. You're safe, Zai. There's no problem. You're part of the Pokemon people we brought in to help save the Pokemon. So you're under my protection as well. Go quickly. Let my battle cover uh, your retreat. Now then, Asterix, do you follow my logic? Alright! Get ready! Sure, your work is Now then, future on vision. Perhaps I can't be here now. But I'll battle you to buy time for these members of Team Plasma to get away. Alright, guys, we are facing off again. And for the second or third time. I don't know. Anyways, on with the battle of, against Team Plasma's King, and He's going to start off with the Sandow, level 22. Ground Dark type. Moxie has its ability, so don't let it uh, do, uh don't let it faint any of your po your own Pokemon. Uh, with the moves, Sand Tomb, Assurance, Mud Slap, and Embargo. Uh, it's not too much. Of, I, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Uh, I'm going to go for the agility because I want Blink to be faster than all of his Pokemon, so that way I can just sweep them all. Um, I have a bad feeling he's gonna make use of my Defiance ability. Anyways, we're just gonna go for the pluck. And boom! That's Arkin's power. That is Arkin's power. Level 26. Attack plus 4. Plus 4. It's like, it's like beautiful. Anyways, so, uh, he's going for the Scraggy. Level 22. Dark Fighting type. Shed skin for its ability. Uh, Fane Attack, Headbutt, Swagger, Brick Breaker. Uh, this one's gonna be a bit more problematic than anything else, uh, to be honest. Uh, this is probably one of the most problematic members of its team. But there's... Oh, he's going right for the problematic one. Uh, this is Sigilyph. Uh, level 22. Psychic Flying type. Wonder Skin for his ability, meaning, uh, all, um, paralysis moves, sleeping moves, etc, etc. Uh, they have half a chance of, ma uh, of making it instead of the full. Uh, Tailwind, uh, its ability, its moves are Tailwind, giving all of his team a speed buff. Don't want that. 
Whirlwind, uh, taking away my Pokemon, don't want that. Psybeam, don't want that. An Air Cutter, don't want that. So I'm gonna go for the Ancient Power since it is super effective after all. Uh, it's a special move, so it's not gonna do much. Or it's gonna do much. Oh, he's going for the Tailwind. That's probably good. That means he's probably going to end up having, um... Yeah, he's probably gonna end up having this stuff. And, oh, crit. Oh, uh, that's... Wait, how much XP did he... Oh, okay, it wasn't this much. Uh, I'm gonna go for the for Chimchamp right now, because uh, Chimchamp's pretty close to a level right now. Um, Let's go for the Flame Burst right now. Uh, oh, shoot, I'm still not faster than him. I'm just gonna do some damage. Sigilyph is really just powerful. Really powerful. I probably should have gone for the bite. Yeah. Chim- Oh! Chim Chim's alive, okay. Holy crud! Chim Chim! Oh my god, that's awesome. Level 28! Oh yeah. Uh, learn the move playing no. People moves. Give up on playing. Flame just uses up your own move. I mean, your own item, just so you could bring, do some damage. I mean, it's it's hardly even that much. I mean, it does a lot if you have like a really rare berry, but it's a really rare berry. Why would you use that? <clears throat> He's going to send out his Deromaka, his last Pokemon, level 22, fire type, hustle for its ability, meaning it uh, has le 20% less accuracy but it it's uh physical attacks do 1.5 times damage with the moves head uh headbutt uproar facade, facade and fire punch um that's not a problem especially for parker just gonna raise the shell and boom and it is done we are able to escape from team plasma the result was the same for you who are you um Astrid? You're quite strong, but I have a future in that I must change, and for that future, I'll defeat the champion and become a beetle unlike any other. I'll make all trainers free their Pokemon. Just try and stop me. If you want to be tough together with Pokemon, your only hope is to collect the badges from each area and head for the Pokemon League. Try and stop me there, if you dare. If your conviction is not strong enough, you will never be able to defeat me. Okay. We got a challenge issued to us. Anyways, um, that's about it for this episode. Uh, there's nothing much we can do left in Nimbasa City other than to head to the Pokemon Gym. And until then, I will see you guys in the next episode.